Okay, this is the Banjo 006 Minnow review, and I'm going to tell you some facts about it, and yeah. I'll make another video also on the action of it swimming, how to rig it, how to skip it, like on the water, so you can get under branches and stuff. So this is just going to be a video, uh, a review about it, and like how it works and stuff. So here it is. Those are a few of them. These are these right here. This is the small yellow. Comes with two small yellows, two medium yellows. I lost one at the pond today that I used the whole day. And I lost it when I was skipping. I did a bad skip and it snapped the line, so I lost one. Then you have Two small of these. They're like green on top and then white. And I got two medium sized those. I have two flower fly minnows, which I'll show you later. That go here. And then here are where mainly they are. So let's start on the left side. These. This is the medium sized pearl color. Banjo minnow. It comes with two, two small, two medium. Then you get these sort of pinkish holographic thing. It says medium size. Comes with two mediums, two smalls. Here's the small. Then it comes. Then you have this. It's like. Really holographic, comes with two small, two large, blue on top, sort of silver and clear in the middle. Here's the middle one. And the one coming up is probably the most reflective one. And here's just the same one but bigger. It's got holographic dozen on the inside, and then blue on top, sort of clear on the bottom. And this one's probably the most reflective. Here it is. This is the medium size. Comes with two medium, two small. So the medium size. It's clear, and there's thousands and thousands of sparkles, all in it. So when I tilt it to the light, it's like, it's crazy. And it comes with two smalls right here, and you get the large. Or this is the average kit, so it doesn't have the pike version. There is the 3 inch or something like that, smaller one. And then there is the 4 inch, which is the medium. Then there is the 5 inch. This is the 5 inch. These things are pretty big. It's about a hand size. About the size of a big sunfish or average sunfish, something like that. Then they have a 7 inch. And they have a 9 inch. The 9 inch is like thick and long and it's like for like musky and like tarpon and sailfish and stuff. This is the average kit so it only comes with um, the minnows. It only comes with the size small, medium, and large. And then here's the large green on top, white on the bottom, banjo minnow. Then it comes with a yellow one, one ye one large yellow one, one large other one, and these, which are probably going to be the best because they're so reflective. If you can see that, it comes with one of these, one pearl. One pink holographic Dustin thing, and then one super shiny reflective silver thing, large size. Okay, now the review. Oh, and also it comes with these eyes. These are the lightweight eyes. You can tell because there's not, like, right in between, there's not silver. The silver is weight. And the weighted eyes I'd use all the time. The lightweight eyes are like, you can't cast with it. The only weight is from the, the banjo mail itself. And so, yeah, the heavy eyes are like the best for any 
everything. It comes with four lightweight eyes in a few different colors. And it comes with three heavy eyes. I just lost my red one while rigging one of my medium sized yellow banjo minnows. And so I lost that, but yeah. And it comes with size two hooks, size six hooks, and then um, one knot hook to hook them. And then it comes with 60 banjo weed guards. It's really easy to put them on. You can just look up another video, or I may put one later. But now the review for good, bad, so that. They are good. They're good. They will catch fish. The colors are real-ish, and they catch fish. I'm using, I used them earlier today at the pond, usually, that we fish at. And lures will never work there. But the banjo minnow, we used that, I used that, and I had, like, two bass come up and just wham it. But they didn't, I didn't, I'm not used to it, so I didn't get the hook set right and stuff. And then I used the small one and the medium one, and my bluegill were were napping at it and stuff. So it looks real, I guess, and stuff. And it's good, catch fish. And then you can look up another video of mine later, and it's gonna be like what it looks like in the water, the action, banjo minnow action. And so yeah. And also, I'm going to teach you how to put it, put the eyes onto the thing, onto the minnow. How to put the hook onto the minnow. A good way to tie your hook to your line. And a good way to tie the banjo weed guard onto the hook. And now some facts. Or, like, one. The banjo minnow was originally just the banjo minnow. There's no 006 minnow. And it came like a package, like most most things you find now, like the plastic packages, like you find now. But it's just like worms and stuff, they were the, just the banjo minnow. They didn't have swim cuts yet, so yeah. And then they made the banjo 006 minnow here. And they've recently made, or at least right now recently, in real life when I'm making this video, they're making a banjo 009 minnow. You can get that test one in at Cabela's. You can get it in a starter kit. It comes with nine minnows in total, including the Banjo 009 minnow, for like 15 bucks at Cabela's for sure. I wouldn't do that. I'd go on the Banjo 00 Banjo Minnow dot com and order theirs. It's better. And you get more, and it's about the same price, almost. And, yeah. So, that, yeah, Banjo 009 minnows out. It has the paddle tail. It's a swim bait. Swim bait, swim bait. Yeah. And so, yeah, Banjo minnows good. Swims a lot like a fish. Catch big fish. And when nothing else is really working throw out that banjo minnow yeah um yeah it's basically it and so nine minutes long that's not too bad